As you meet politicians across the 2015 battleground, it's clear this is a scary election for them. A truculent electorate is showing who's boss. Seats that have been taken for granted are up for grabs. And MPs are sweating. Can I give you that about the parking out here? Just fill it in and send it back to me. Do you want to? Yeah. Great, thanks. Gisela Stewart has fought off the Tories in ultra-marginal Birmingham Edgbaston time and again. Success has never come easy here. Now it isn't easy anywhere. The loyalty or, and even the certainty by the voters of which party they identify with, I think that is, has got weaker with every single election I have fought. They call it incumbency, the elusive but vital quality that can allow a sitting MP to hold back apparently irresistible forces. So what's the recipe? People raise an issue, I ring them back and saying, what's the problem? I will sign every letter that goes out of my office. I will sign on a Friday. I answer my own emails. You know, I will come home and there will be 435 emails and I respond to each one of them. I may forward it to the office in London or to the office in Birmingham. But I, I am the first filter. Oh, and this is your swatch? This is, yeah, have a look through. This is a Here they used to make coffins and shrouds. Now it's a museum, part of revitalising Birmingham's old industrial quarter. For an MP to avoid the political graveyard, hard work alone won't suffice. The electorate looks at us and says, what more have you got to give? Uh, and it's quite a utilitarian approach. They say, if you've been very good at the past, but they feel in a sense you've now done as well as you could and they really can't see what more you've got to offer, then I think quite rationally they say, well, in that case, we might as well give the other lot a try. So listen to the voters and then who knows? This is one MP who's shown, even when things are tough, they can have some control over whether they get back to Parliament. <laughs>